Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this right here is a very versatile shoe from Wave Weight. Uh, good for both indoors and out, uh, for multiple positions too. However, there is one thing that you should be aware of, and uh, this is the Wade Fission 8. So the Fission 8 has a retail price of 120 US dollars on waveway.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Aside from this panda colorway, there's also a white colorway available that I believe is an artist collab. But before we start talking about anything, I want to point out now that this shoe does take some time to break in, especially around the midfoot area. Not to a point where it bothered me as someone who has slightly wider feet, but if you have a very wide midfoot, let's say, it might be best to avoid these. So where this shoe ranks among the other models from the brand or all other shoes out there does depend heavily on the fit. But as long as you can get some good runs in with them, uh, this is an amazing shoe that I would probably put in the top tier. Spoiler alert, maybe the best trash in so far this year. What else should you know about it? Let's get right into some details. They come in a cardboard shoe box with a big number eight on top that you can also consider as an infinity sign. The overall packaging reminds me of those move to zero shoes from Nike, uh, given the emphasis on using recycled materials. So no wrapping paper or inserts. In terms of how they look, to me, this shoe has the Nike Zoom Flight 95 written all over it, specifically the big logo clip on the missile. It's got heel lock at the back and it extends into a pull tab. To me, it's very functional because this shoe will be pretty hard to put on at first. It has mainly a mesh upper. You can probably tell from the netting that it's very breathable. Looking at the also, this features their tough rubber for better durability on an outdoor court. And the pattern is made up of a bunch of small infinity logos or the number eight, kind of similar to the Sun of Flash with the small lightning patterns. And I can confirm that the rubber is sturdy enough to last outside. Likewise, this is a light foam plus missile with boom in the forefoot and heel. It has a midfoot plate, so you get a pretty complete package for this price. The insoles are plain, but the holes on there gives you good ventilation at least. Uh, when I try to bend the upper, it gives a pretty springy kickback and weight is right around average. Size 11 at 410 grams is more on the lighter side, if anything. It's light enough for faster players, bouncy enough for high jumpers. As to how the Fission 8 performs on the court, cushioning is sufficient. Like not excellent, but it gets the job done. I would probably compare the cushion to the Shadow 4. A little bit stiff, but responsive in both forefoot and heel. On the Fission 8, there's boom front and back. You most likely feel the boom pot at the back a little bit more. And given the amount of caging, the heel is not super soft, but it has a very good feedback when you press downward. So it's not the soft and plush type of feeling, but really bouncy. The trash and performance is maybe not even a surprise at this point, coming from Wave Weight. Uh, extremely grippy rubber. That also is very loud and squeaky. Super consistent on an indoor court. Clean or dusty condition. The tough rubber also ensures good durability for outdoor use. So that's a plus too. And another reason why it's good for outdoors is the upper construction. Decent stability, it's rigid enough, and the outer shell guards the upper nice and secure. Because a lot of times you don't want to play in a shoe that is too soft and loose on like an asphalt court, let's say. A concrete too, obviously. Now with the fit, I went half size up in US sizing. So I want to clarify that for sizing, I would always refer to UI sizing. I'm normally a size 10 and a half in most Nike sneakers, and I wear a size 11 in these. And the half size up is still a tiny bit snug. They'll be kind of hard to put on, just like the Wild 10 and Shadow 4. Similar width in the midfoot, which is honestly not the most rifle friendly. And you can see from an up top view that the shape kind of shrinks in towards the middle. So please be aware of that. The midfoot tightness goes away after you break it in, but the mesh panels loosen up and the containment sort of takes a hit. One more thing is that padding may be lacking on the shoe, but it's got a good lockdown, just that it folds a little awkwardly against the rubber piece where the missile sticks up right in the middle. There's no pinching or heel slippage though. 
Oh, the laces have a weird texture to it, but that's such a small detail that it doesn't really matter all that much. Overall, I think the Fission 8 is a very good performer at that mid-tier pricing of 120 bucks, but conditional on the fit. The biggest highlight is the traction. Uh, like it just has an insane grip. The design is pretty unique too. It looks like a futuristic shoe in the early 2000s standard. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but let me know how you feel about the Fission 8 down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.